the practice of mindfulness, intentional, non-judgmental awareness of moment-to-moment -moment experience, has been practiced since ancient times in both the East and the West. Throughout history, people have been claiming that mindfulness has improved their well-being. In this video, we will look at what science has to say about these claims. When you perform mindfulness meditation, you can get to a state of focused attention and mental calmness. This relaxation response seems to have multiple effects on the body's stress pathways. Brain scans have showed that after just an eight-week course of mindfulness practice, the brain's amygdala tends to shrink. The amygdala is a region of the brain that is associated with fear and emotion and is involved with the initiation of the body's response to stress. Researchers found out that as the amygdala shrinks, the prefrontal cortex becomes thicker. The prefrontal cortex is associated with higher order brain functions, such as awareness, concentration, and decision making. Scientists have also compared the brains of Buddhist monks with the brains of people who don't meditate as much. They found the region of the brain associated with empathy, the right supermarginal gyrus, to be much more active with the monks. But not only the brain changes, in studies where researchers looked at the entire body, they also found that mindfulness enhances vagal tone, which controls your heart rate. Meditation has also been shown to help the immune system. A UCLA study even showed that HIV-positive patients who practice mindful meditation slow down the reduction of their CD4 cell count. These are the immune system cells that are associated with keeping the virus from propagating. There's even a recent study on cancer survivors that shows early evidence that mindfulness meditation can improve the length of the telomere. The telomere is a protective protein at the end of your chromosome. They help prevent damage to your DNA and determine how quickly a cell ages. It's important to know that mindfulness is not a magic medicine that cures everything. However, the study suggests that it is a good way of taking care of yourself, just like eating healthy and exercising. 